Uh, good afternoon, this is Matt Locklear, with project manager with the Lumbee Tribe. Uh, we're out here at the Culture Center once again on the Lake Dam Repair Project. And a big item that we've had since our last video has been the articulated concrete block uh, that's been placed on the slope for protection. Um, it's basically a concrete mat with interlocking blocks that uh, protect the uh, embankment from erosion and from, from wave protection. Um, it's been about, about 3,000 feet have been put in. Uh, they've been averaging about 16 sections of it a day. Um, and that's the, one of the big ticket items for this project to ensure uh, that the dam is protected from future um, water damage uh, and erosion control. So these are our articulated concrete block that we've been placing on the slope. Um, again, they're an interlocking mat and it's for erosion control protection. Uh, this is the machine that they rented to um, install uh, this concrete box. It's basically a, a pipe layer, but it's a crane type machine that allowed them to sit on top of the dam and place those mats uh, one at a time, uh, offload them from the truck down onto the, onto the ground um, and interlock them together and place them together. Um, it's been a big help. I think this uh, going this route instead of using a crane was a big, a big help and helped them uh, uh, you know, stay on schedule. And then on top of the dam where it turns, actually is a turned down um, slab, a concrete slab that's being poured uh, to anchor the top of the trench, uh, trench of the uh, articulated concrete block into the top portion of the dam, the earth embankment. Uh, this this uh, prevents uh, any uplift from the articulated concrete block and it anchors it in, um, you know, for uh, wave protection. You'll see the crews behind me, they're forming and, and placing uh, the concrete as they come this way towards the emergency spillway and the existing spillway away from the amphitheater. So we're standing here at the emergency spillway. This is the third uh, outlet for the lake. We have the existing spillway and the primary riser. This is the third one. Uh, this is the overflow capacity. If the lake gets too full, uh, this is designed so that it will draw the lake water, water down uh, to a safe, uh, a safe level. Um, it has uh, a low flow drain, a manhole and outlet. Uh, that, uh, that will, will constantly feed water out to this tributary uh, to our left that, that feeds into the Lumber River. Um, they had to drive sheet piles to dewater this area, uh, and that's what they're in the process of doing now is removing those sheet piles uh, so they can move on to the next phase of, of construction. Basically, a, a pile hammer is what they use, a, a vibratory hammer is what they use to, to drive them down and, uh, and to dewater this area so they can put in that low flow drain, the manhole and the pipe that's, that, uh, that uh, associates with it that goes out into the lake uh, to, to feed the, the tributary here. There's gonna be a pool on this side, a plunge pool, um, and that's, that's gonna hold capacity as well. Uh, it's gonna be lined with rip wrap and armored. Um, so again, it's an erosion control um, uh, uh, issue um, to, to have it lined and have it um, you know, protected in case when water flows over, it won't wash, uh, wash, wash the dirt away, of course. So he's basically uh, building him a walkway with out of those timber mats that he can walk out, walk the machine out there uh, far enough where he can reach those uh, those pylons out out in the far far corner there. He's building a walkway for the for the guys to be able to get out there and hook up out of those timber mats as well, be able to hook up to those sheet piles, those holes that are drilled in the side, um, and be able to lift them up out of there. We're here at the primary riser outlet. Uh, well, this is the inlet structure. Um, and what's been completed so far is they have re refurbished the uh, structure itself that holds the trash racks. Uh, they refurbished it with galvanized paint. And uh, what they're installing right now is the slide gates. Uh, this controls the water flow. Uh, you can raise and lower them like you do a, 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 a fire hydrant arm. Um, it, uh, it's gonna help control the water level um, for the lake. And it, it, it's a, uh, they're, they're replacing four new, brand new uh, slide gates. Uh, from the old ones were, were inoperable, one of them was inoperable. Uh, they refurbished the trash racks. They have trash racks that go across the front of them to keep any debris, uh, any roots and logs and grass or anything out of the lake, uh, keep it from filtering into the, into the outlet structure and clogging the pipes up. Um, th those will be installed as well um, here, at, here at the primary riser, uh, the intake structure here. Thank you, Matt. Also out here at the Lumbee Tribe Culture Center, we've been doing a lot of work, especially with the uh, Elders Prayer Circle. 
and we need them more than ever at the change of season, offering up prayers for our people, for our spiritual well-being and safety. And as you can see behind me, this is a pretty big uh, Tonka truck owned by Anson Construction, who is doing all this work out here on the dam. They're doing a great job. I also like to thank Miss Amy Black with Jewel Engineering for her guidance from the beginning till now. Thank uh, U.S. Senator Tom Tillis for his recent vi visit back in February for taking the time to come here and see this project. I'd like, would like to thank FEMA and of course the R Governor Roy Cooper administration and the North Carolina Office of Recovery and Resiliency for their $2 million no interest loan, which is gap funding between when FEMA pays and when we have to pay our contractors. We couldn't have finished this job if it hadn't have been for the uh, Cooper administration helping us with that. We're still in the thralls of COVID-19, even though that's still going on. We're still dealing with the aftermath of Hurricane Matthew and Florence out here at the Culture Center and in some rehab housing we're currently doing. So keep us all in your prayers, keep each other in your prayers, and God bless the Lumbee people, and God bless the United States of America. Thank you.